Let's get back to visiting with Grimcore and visit some bases on the server while we chat. Beeblebum is the one that's currently uh, doing our streaming. We all get together on his channel on Wednesdays and stream. Okay. And he's really, really known for being a builder from No Man's Sky and now in this in this uh, game as well. Um, he's really detail oriented and plans stuff out and is super creative. Nice. This is looking good. Yeah. Um, I think he started this as just being like his base, but he's kind of turned it into being an inn. All right. I think. So, yeah, like, this bridge is really tall, so he had to figure out all the structural support for it, because the river's way down there. Nice. Yeah. But that's what I think one of the things that actually make, makes Valheim a bit more interesting is that actually you have to think about support. Mm -hmm. You have to think about how to build things and make it actually, actually work, instead of just building pretty things right. uh, all the time. Which is a question that Beeble gets a lot, is like, coming from No Man's Sky, we have a build camera. It's in space, you know? And so there's mm -hmm. a build camera where you can just, your character stands, you go and build camera, and you can zoom all around and build, right? And mm -hmm. quite a few people ask him, would they ever put a build camera into Valheim? Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? I mean... Probably not. As if as, so, if you start your own world, you can you can actually zoom around as much as you want to if you're cheating. Right, with the dub commands. Uh, yeah, and I think that's basically the same thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that would be nice, though, I feel like, would be to be able to uh, um, to maybe detach the camera. Maybe when you're building, like, press a button and you detach the camera and you can only go a certain disk. But that's also really game-breaking because then you could explore stuff and see round corners. Mm -hmm. mm, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just be able to zoom out. That's as far as I would go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I mean, honestly, if if that was not 8, your 2, answer... 8,213. I told you... I didn't see that before. I just saw it. <laughs> I'm not making it up. Like, we're addicted. <laughs> yep. I and we're all <laughs> around the world, so the time zones, you know, it gets advanced uh, more, but still, it's a lot. We haven't had this server go in that long. Uh, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> well, relatively speaking. Yeah, um, right, right, right. It's, it's our new er one. New er, not totally new. Um, yeah, but I was going to say, like, if you hadn't said that, I would have been really shocked because, I mean, we, we have to build scaffolding to build and everything, but like, that's part of the immersion of the game, you know, like, there's But no I guess maybe if, if we do, if, okay, at 1.000, uh, if we put in like a creative mode, I'm not saying that we're going to, <laughs> But maybe maybe there will be some kind of function like that, that that would be easier for you to zoom around and stuff like that. I think it feels like it's more of a creative mode kind of thing. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah. I mean, and, uh, you know, I have a creative world that I go and do testing in. And I always have all these ideas of things I'm going to build in creative mode. Um, but I always get pulled back into my survival game you know like this is where i come mm. back to um i normally play. feel like when I, if i'm in if i'm cheating and doing a build it doesn't for me it doesn't feel real mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's one of the things that i try tend to not try to do too much of cheating cheat builds mm -hmm. at least because it doesn't feel like i put the real work into into it yeah, I get that. I mean, I would say, like, like this is a vanilla world. So, looking at this build, 
knowing it's vanilla gives it more status, I think. Mm. You know, like, you know that yep. serious effort went into creating this. Um, so I totally get that, and I appreciate it and agree. But I know some people are just, like, about building. You know, like, they don't... Like, that's their only thing, you know? Mm. So for that kind of game style, I think it would make sense, you know, that those kind of people... Would like to have a creative world. Um, where did you where where do you think Valheim would be without building? I think that I would not have a thousand hours in it. Yeah. yeah. That's what I believe too. Yeah. I think that the building part making making it personal for you is a huge benefactor to yeah. why why people like it. Um, I agree, and I think that, um, from what I've seen so far, I think the build community is going to be really big in this community. I think it's going to be a really big part of it. I mean, maybe mm. I've seen more of that because, you know, I pay attention to it because I really enjoy that. Um, yeah. but I mean, the amount of time and effort and creativity that people are putting into builds is amazing you know and that yeah. is another way of really having people invested like we spend hours and days and weeks you know creating these builds like that's investment right there you got buy-in from the players mm. but I'm biased I'm fully aware that I'm biased about the building aspect. No, but I I, I understand though, because uh, I think the our biggest pillar is the uh, is the building part. Oh, we're up in the mountains. We are. This is Zane's build from Zane's world. He's not done with it. It's still under construction, obviously. But this is gonna be massive and incredible <laughs> this is really cool with the circular formations and everything isn't it i love the snow landing on everything it's uh it's really nice How, the, is he building this by himself yes he is all of our builds are solo builds um impressive yeah when we first started uh on the starter island we all pulled resources together and did a starter village and um kind of got everything going we beat the first boss you know was very collective and then we kind of um on this server what we did was we designated different areas of the map for each individual to go explore Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, you wouldn't, like, have all of the swamps by where you decided your base was going to be, you know, used up by somebody else because you had your own section of the map. And then mm -hmm. for different things, we get together and we do stuff together as well, like raiding villages or bosses or, um, we have a little build project coming up that... Um, will be a collective thing too. So yeah. it's it's neat because uh, again the balance like there's a lot of things that we do that are kind of like single player mm -hmm. but then we come together and do multiplayer too so we kind of get to do both. But that sounds nice though. Yeah. It is. I like his kitchen. I haven't been and seen this since he got it all built and put together. Did you notice how he did the signs on the uh, chests? Yeah. <laughs> I, have, I don't know how he how he's done it, but... Oh, wait. Ha, has he, like, built them into... Yeah. Wait, he... He put... Okay, like, so he built... All right, take a guess. How do you think he did it? <laughs> he built the chests first... No. Wait, okay. I'm guessing he had to build the chests first. 
Uh, but that doesn't make sense how we got the signs up. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you the secret. Oh, wait, okay, wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. He has one sign somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I know no either. Idea. I had to go watch this video. I was like, how did you do that? Okay, so he put the chest up, and then he had, like, a wall, a wooden wall, as, like, a backer on the side of the chest. Mm -hmm. And he used the that wall as a backer to slide the sign into the front facing of the chest. All right. And then he writes the word that he wants and then does a bunch of spaces to make it float off the sign and onto the chest. Ah, uh, nice. And then delete the wall and you get words on the chest. It's a cool trick, right? That's that's very smart. Yeah. What's like what's his name? One. Zane from Zane's World. Zane. Zane's yeah. World. Zane, you're a smart guy. <laughs> he really is. He's very research based. And uh, him and Beeple Bum both also do Valheim content too. Mm, nice. Yeah. So they have some really great ideas. He's always getting attacked by drakes here when he's building. So I was like, are we going to find a drake that we can try to jump onto? <laughs> I might need to get some food in me there. Got some food there. Got some food. I did hear uh, some drake flying around here before. Did you? I didn't. Yeah, but it wasn't this side. I have an area of the map that I call Drakelandia, where I'm constantly <laughs> Drake attacked. Like, I can't even tell you. It's ridiculous. Maybe he flew off. I could hear one. I was like, mm, I hope he doesn't attack us. But uh, now I understand why you want the Drakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We'll, we'll go by Drakelandia and see if we can find one. All right. How did we get here? Where was the portal that we came through? Oh, I'm, I'm trusting you <laughs> for everything now. I'm, brave I'm just like... man. Brave man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not it. Is this it? No, that's wolves. We'll find it eventually. It's, it was somewhere in this corner, I think. I think you're right. Zane home. This is it. The one on the All end. Right. And actually, I did have a question, um, if you don't mind, from oh, my, sure. from my uh, little man. He has Good. a question for you, but he is not here right now because he is at school. And so... What time is it now, by the way, over there? It is 2.15 in the afternoon here. Okay, okay. So he recorded it for you. All right, okay. And now I don't see where it is. Oh, wait, no, I know. Sorry. I had it all ready to go, but then I had a dortfish moment. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, I don't know if they'll hear this in the recording, but if not, I'll add it later. Okay, I just sent it to you on Discord. Okay, so I'll play it up now and listen. Could we ever fully customize our character? Like, the, like... Having wings, flame breath, size difference, eye color, and a ton of other stuff. And could you even buy it from the trader as like an item you put on your body that isn't armor? Like accessories. But they actually do stuff. Like a ring that you put over your mouth. And it, when you breathe, it makes it, you know, air, the air turn into fire. Or something mm. like that. Thanks! And I'm out! <laughs> nice question. That was a really, really good question. <laughs> uh, so, about custom character customization. Right. Uh, it wasn't too long ago where... Okay, so I can just uh, like break down the basics, how, how we do it right now. So basically, we when 
so you're playing the female character and I'm the male character. So they both share the same texture. Uh, so a texture is basically flat. Uh, and you, in, in order to put a texture onto a model, you need to cut the model so and cut it out so that you've got like this paper thin paper. Right. And then you can paint onto the texture. Uh, so it's, it's called unwrapping UV and you, you wrap it and so on and so forth. The way that we, or the way that Richard set everything up is, let's see if I can show you here somewhere. Uh, so my character right now, I'm basically naked. The, on the only thing that we're doing right now is we're actually swapping out the, um, the texture Oh no, we're not actually even swapping it out. We're putting a texture onto the to the body, uh, painting it basically. Okay. And we're taking the same texture and putting that on the female as well, since these two characters have different forms and shapes. Uh, you'll see some stretching on the character on the female character, or some stretching on the the male character. So it becomes a little bit different because they're sh sharing the same mo uh, textures um, or materials, basically. If you have a look at my... Um, I'm, I'm going to... <laughs> I don't want to offend you, but I'm taking off my pants. Um, you know, you wouldn't be the only man doing that around here. I'm just saying. <laughs> People like running around <laughs> <All> naked. <right. laughs> okay, so they as you can say see... say it makes my... them faster, but you know how boys are. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Little man included. You hear me? I'm talking about you. <laughs> if you uh, so, I've got my tunic on on me, and it goes below my waist. Is that so? On this uh, armor set, for example, it's the the only 3D mesh that we're actually adding to the armor is the skirt part of the of the tunic. Um, I'm not. Is that what's it called in English? Tunic. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Yeah, all right, good. Um, I was experimenting last, or it's two months ago. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to see if I can find the picture for you as well. Or maybe that's going to just hype people up. I was making a fat Viking. Oh my gosh, he totally said that. I don't know if he said it in the question, but that was when things when we were talking about it, like some people are pudgy or something like that. And I'm like, hmm. Yep. Because I want, because I definitely want to be a big fat Viking with a big belly and uh, like a, a thick neck and everything, like uh, big beard, <laughs> big bushy beard, and everything. I think that would be cool. That would be awesome. But, however, this comes to where the, the systems that we have implemented would it would actually it wouldn't break the game, but <laughs> it would be difficult to have the same. See if I can explain this well enough. Like so I've only got a certain space on the texture, right? Without without it getting stretchy, and if it gets too stretchy, especially when we have these uh, pixels, you will see the pixels get so stretched it would look it wouldn't look good, basically. So yeah. my idea was like maybe we make a fat suit then. Let's just have a fat suit and throw that on the female character and the male character. Uh, but then we have to go in and make like individual changes to specific armors and have to have checks to see if are you wearing a fat suit then mm -hmm. use this specific armor the the fat suit armor part or whatever it could mm -hmm. be so uh, it ends up being I, a lot more involved yeah it does yeah uh, even though i think that's something we all do want to do um, I don't see us putting any time on that during the early access, at least. Right. I mean, it's easy for us to go in and change the eye color. That would be easy. Um, not saying that we're going to do that. We kind of like the bluish kind of shade because it feels like... I don't know, it feels Nordic somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely that's something we could change. That's easy things. And give you more hair and beards, that's the easy part. He was talking about, um, what was it? 
He said something about you could buy something at the trader. Oh yeah, like his idea was buy some kind of ring that you put over your mouth and lets you breathe fire. But in general, <laughs> you know, other things that give you function, like the headlamp, the divergent mm. circle. I don't know how to and, say it correctly. Yeah, so that's accessories, and I definitely, yes, we will be putting in more stuff like that. And breathing fire, uh, I'm on his side. <laughs> Uh, definitely, I want to be able to put something <laughs> on my mouth and breathe fire or that, cold or I poison. Th yes. I mean, I mean, you know, like the shaman spits at you and you spit right back. Uh, exactly. <laughs> it would be cool if you have like a shaman, uh, the, like a head trophy or something. You put that on and then you breathe the uh, poison. Definitely. Like we, we, we want to put that into the game uh, at the trader or even put in more traders that actually trade these these wear and bizarre kind of accessories um, so definitely yes and something that I tried to uh, get into the game a long time ago was body paints and stuff like that as well Ooh. be able to to like just go war paint yourself um, but there was bigger things that needed to be done at that moment so hopefully sometime we can put that in because that would be actually would really be easy. Cool. And it, also if we could have buffs or, or anything connected to it. So you'd actually have... Also it becomes a balance issue, obviously, when you try you put in something like a, like some kind of... Um, let's say you have the war, the war paint of the Berserker. Let's say that's a thing. Uh -huh. That would give you some stats. Um, then we have to start balancing that as well. So that might not be the best thing, but... I think it sounds interesting enough to have war paints, but then it also becomes like, what 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 about the people who don't want to have war paint but still play the game and don't feel like they want to paint themselves to be able to play or defeat something? Right. So it's I so don't know. It, yeah, it would definitely be like an optional thing, right? But oh. a lot of how you decorate or dress or whatever is optional. You know, That's like true. I like using the headlamp a lot. But some people never use it at all, you know? Mm. It's just play style, I guess. I've never used it. I love it. I've it's... never tried it really? once. Really? Oh, my God. If you throw it to me Here, now, I'm, that's going to be the first right time now, I've ever used hold it. Hold on. Let me, not right. throw it, let me not throw it over the side of the wall. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Discovery for you. There you go. Wait, where did it go? It's right there glowing. You don't see it? I can't see it. Really? I would turn my headlamp on to show you, but... <laughs> am, I, am I on it? You walked... Do you have V off? Now I see it. Now it's, now it's popping up. Oh, uh, wait, but this server... Where is this server, by the way? Now I picked it up. It's in the US. So it might Discovered. be... Delayed. Devout get a circlet. Okay, Vatican. This is the first time. First time, right here. Oh, it's a blue flashlight. Are you highly impressed? Is it changing your yeah, outlet? It's, uh, <laughs> it's cool. I'm a little bit disappointed. There's no lasers or anything. <laughs> it's a, it's it's totally okay. <laughs> here, have it back. Thank you. I actually have two of them. <laughs> So I don't uh, not have it with me if I need it when I'm doing a speed run to get my body. Let me turn it on. See, because right now I can't see. <laughs> oh. You ran straight out out into the air here. But oh, now I see that I? you're back over here. Yep, right, we should okay. walk slow here. This is TK's castle. It's actually a replica of Conway Castle in right. England. And... He, this thing is so big, Robin. I'm not even gonna like. Let's we'll go to the top and look. We should walk slow here because it's massive. It's very big. He's made, uh, and he doesn't have like the decor or anything done yet. But see, I get lost here. I made myself a sign that said, Christy, go this way. <laughs> so, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Now which way do I go? Right. 
He made us each a um, a wing, our own circular area. What are they called in the castle? Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. But we have one for each of us to decorate as our own. Uh, but also just going back quick to the question, I think we we definitely, if we could, if we can and have time, and uh, I think I I would love to see that in the game at least. And I know there's several p more people at the office who would love to see more customizable things as well. So it feels like your character is something you invest your time into and doesn't look like it, like the other people as well. Yeah. Yeah, because like when we're all together doing boss battles, like if we're after Yagluth, how do you say it correctly? Oh, Yagluth, yep. Yagluth. Um, like, so by then we're all wearing padded armor and we all look like Twinkies. <laughs> and speaking of, like, I have long hair, but it doesn't show when I put my helmet on. Nobody's hair yeah, shows. Yeah, that's another, <laughs> that's another <laughs> issue we need to tackle. Uh, we... We tend to hide the whole... Uh, so you put your helmet on, and that's a 3D mesh. Yeah. Uh, so we don't have the hair popping through the 3D mesh. We just uh, disable so you can't see the hair underneath. Uh, but actually, what I think we need to do is some kind of system where we, we have to know what hair you're using and get a replica of that hair but cut off so it doesn't clip through the helmet and stuff. Mm -hmm. Which uh, I I have no idea where to start with, so I'm glad I'm on the art department on that <laughs> side. <laughs> You're like that's not my area. <laughs> yes. No, but definitely we we're super aware about that issue, and uh, we someday. Yeah. Someday. Maybe. It's on the list, right? It's on yep. the list. Yep. So you can't see it right now, but to build this because we're in vanilla. TK literally flattened an entire mountain. Really? An entire mountain to get the stone to build this castle. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's working nice. on the next one over. Yeah. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Wait, it feels like I've been here. In another life? Or, or in someone real just life? built something very similar. Does he have a big room with lots and lots and lots of chests? Um, not that I know of. He has like okay, a great maybe. hall made, but it's empty so far. It doesn't have anything in it yet. Okay, so when did he build this? Um, he's been working on it for the last three months. Okay, no, so it's not... So for like six months ago, this place didn't exist, right? I don't think we've been on here six months, no. Not on this server. All right. Oh, mm -hmm. it's not this. It, it just feels like the same place, but it's probably not then. Yeah. I mean, we had I some, guess... uh, some guy send in a castle with lots of chests, and it was like a really, a real heavy place to try to walk around in. Yeah. Because of like 500 chests and lots of stone and all the instances and stuff. But uh, it has the same location like this. It just feels so f familiar. Interesting. But it's probably not the same place. Sorry. No, it's fine. Yeah, um, one of the things that we learned from the first server to here was about managing size of builds. Um, especially when we come together, you know, mm. because, you know, at first we were going to have a village and then it got too much, you know, low instances. And then we're like, okay, we're going to move, we're going to make it a smaller village. And then it still ended up with too many instances. <laughs> um, yeah. and then, uh, do you want to sleep again before we go to Drakelandia? Oh, absolutely. I'll head up to bed. I know. You don't normally worry about the rested bonus, do you? No, no, I, I do not care. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of in the habit of it. It's helpful. It makes a big difference. It is. Some people say, I know Smith says it a lot, That, uh, but the thing is that I don't want to get addicted to certain systems in games. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to be able to do stuff without help. 
<laughs> Join us next time for an adventure. Until then... Happy gaming. Happy gaming. <laughs>